Hey guys, and welcome back to your girl, Brittany with BB's Crafts. Thanks so much for hanging out today. It is time for a new tutorial, and I've shared on my Instagram how I was going through a rut. Like, I couldn't figure out what to give you guys next until, you know, Pinterest is a very, very powerful tool. And I was scrolling, and then I found something, and all of a sudden, it just struck me. So... Um, I did do a preview of what I created over on my Instagram. If you're not following me there, make sure you do so. The link is down below in the description box. So, who else loves playing arcade games? I know I do. And so, that was my inspiration this time around. And look! Oh my gosh, isn't she adorable? So, so cute. This one, I used the Flourish Collection. And I use um, like some LOL Girls to help decorate and um i just did some fun stuff on the side here i had took one of those like lollipop sticks and i cut a portion off and i glued it to a bead cap and i added a pom-pom at the top and so that's like the little joystick and then i have these little hearts here they're like buttons and you can decorate it however you want i left the one side um plain and i decorated the side over here so that is so stinking cute but wait there's more i do have a larger version isn't she cute and this one's more fun this um was llama themed and so i did the same thing with the um creating the joystick and i had some um planner stickers that worked really well with kind of like emulating a few things and like I have buttons down here like you know the buttons you would push for like coin return and stuff like that and then I just did some fun with this I'm probably gonna give this to my daughter just to have something fun to display in her room but the great thing about these is that the tops do open up so you can go ahead and send some happy mail inside so it's a two for one so you can go ahead and put all sorts of goodies in here and um this small one is four inches or three inches. I want to say it's about three inches um, across. It is about two inches deep and is about six inches tall. And then the bigger one goes about five inches across. It's about three inches deep and it's about eight inches tall. So super awesome. I hope you guys do like it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do the tutorial for the small one. and But I will still have all the measurements down below. And I'll also include the measurements for the larger one as well. So you can kind of pick and choose which one you want to do if you want to recreate it. So if you want to go ahead and see how this is made, make sure you stay tuned. <laughs> this um you won't need too too much for it so it's actually very very simple and um with the small one i am using just plain paper because i don't need another one of these but this is kind of one of those things where you want if you want to use up some of your paper collections this is a great way of using it up um it won't work for six by sixes really not when you get to the part of forming the front of it but for the sides it definitely will and then of course the bigger box you use your 12 by 12 for that so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to need two pieces that are six by three and these are going to be your side panels and just on one of them you're going to score it on the three inch side at one inch you only have to do it on one because after you do what you need to do on this one this will then be your template and you will just trace it out and cut it on your second one now if you want to create a template um beforehand and not do it on your decorative card stock then that's a great way of doing it as well and then you're going to need another piece that is seven and three eighths by four and what you're going to do is on the four inch side on the four inch side you are going to score at half an inch rotate it and score at half an inch again and then we are going to rotate it and we are going to score at oops, score it this way and we're going to score at two and a quarter three and three eighths four and a half five and three quarters and six and seven eighths 
So again, that is two and a quarter, three and three eighths, four and a half, five and three quarters, six and seven eighths. So put that one to the side. Then you're gonna need one that is four by four, and you are just going to score it at half an inch all the way around. And then lastly, what you're going to need is a piece that measures eight and three quarters by four. And then on the four inch side, you're gonna score at half an inch, rotate it, score at half an inch, rotate it again. You're gonna score at half an inch and then at two and three quarters. So that is simple and easy enough, actually. Let's keep this up here, I almost forgot. So you're gonna take your template and this is, again, the piece that is six by three. So we already made our score mark at the one inch side. Oops, pull it down, sorry. We already made our score mark at the one inch side. So we're gonna turn it back. So make sure your score mark is towards the top and not the bottom. And you're going to need a pencil or pen, whichever you prefer. And we're gonna make some markings, okay? So our first mark, what we're going to do is at two and a quarter. Now, if you want to lightly kind of do an impression, you don't have to do a deep impression. Now, again, if you're using this as a template and not on your actual um, decorative cardstock, then you can go ahead and make a deep impression. But we're just going to make a light impression, and then we're going to make a mark right there at the score line. So that's at two and a quarter. Then your next mark will be at three inches and that'll be at the top. And then your next mark is gonna be at three and three eighths. So I'm gonna take my scoring tool and I'm just gonna lightly make an impression. And this is gonna be at the score line. Then we're gonna to go to four and five eighths and this is gonna be a mark at the score line. So just like that. And then I'm gonna to go to five and a quarter oops, five and a quarter and make a mark at the top. So again, we're gonna do two and a quarter at the score line, three at the top, three and three eighths at the score line, then we'll do four and five eighths at the score line, and then five and a quarter at the top. So your points should look like this. So now we're done with the scoreboard and you don't have to do this but if it makes it a lot easier for you go right ahead you know, and grab your ruler and you're gonna connect your points so from oops from this first one that we made up to this top one here I'm gonna make go ahead and make a line and then from this point onto the one at the score line And then we're going to take, we're not going to draw a line up here. We're just going to take this point at the bottom here and go to the top. Oops. And then that is it. So then it should look like this. So when you make your, if you're drawing it out, it should look like that. So you're going to do, you're going to take your scissor. I'm going to cut up on this score line. I'm cut up. Then I'm going to turn and cut on the line that we drew. Then I'm going to cut on that other part of the diagonal. Then I'm going to cut up on the score line again. Turn my page and then cut up on the line that we drew. So it should look like a pretty cool funky F. So that is what we have. So now what you're going to do is you're going to take that other 6x3, the one you did not create a score or do a score line on. All you're going to do is lay it on top and draw it out. So if this makes you nervous, you can go ahead and do the exact same thing to the other one if you want. You know, do your score line at the 1 inch mark on the 3 inch side and do your points and go on and go with it. But I will say, if you are creating this actually on your decorative cardstock, 
cardstock, make sure you pay attention to the direction of your paper because you'll have one that's facing. So you have your cardstock or your decorative element on this side, and then this one will be on the inside. And so same thing here. So when you flip this one, your decorative element will be on the outside there. So be leery of where you are doing it. So now we're just going to go ahead and cut this out. Alright, so now you have two cool, funky looking Fs. So now we are done with that. We are just going to go ahead and put these to the side. Then we're going to grab all of the rest of our pieces and we are going to start doing some varnishing. We're going to add some score tape and just go ahead along with it. So on the one that is, this is the four by eight and three quarters. You are going to go ahead and varnish your score line and you are going to add some score tape on your half inch marks. And then the one that was four by four that you added or that you scored half an inch all the way around, you're going to add score tape just on one side. And then this one where you have all the additional score lines, this is your seven and three eighths by four. You're going to add it just on your half inch marks. Now we're going to do some cutting. So this is the one that is eight and three quarters by four. I'm going to cut some little angle pieces off. So at my score line here, I'm just going to cut an angle piece right out. And then we see how we have this little square in the corner here. I'm going to cut outside of it and cut at an angle. I'm going to repeat that on the other side of the little square. So then this one should look like that. For our 4x4 four four piece, I'm just going to cut a little angle out, outside of all four of the squares. And then our last piece here that has the various score marks, we're going to cut an angle out of all the score lines. And you can cut the angle at the edges too. That is up to you. I'm going to do so. So outside the score line, cut a little angles. Okay, so y'all done with that, so it looks like this. We're gonna take that four by four piece, the one where we have the scoring tape just on the one side. We are going to attach it to this piece here. So it's just one long piece. If you have a 12 by 12, um, this actually might work. No, just kidding, I won't. Um, but the part with the, with the smaller space, so here you have this bigger block, and then you have this smaller block, you're going to attach it just like this. So you're just gonna line up your score lines. Just like that. So that is that piece right there. And then this piece here, you're gonna go ahead and take one of your funky looking Fs, make sure you have the proper direction on it if you're using your decorative cardstock. On the side piece, we're gonna remove the tape there and we're going to attach a little F here. like that. Now we're going to take this piece and we're going to attach it to this front flap. So this piece that has the bigger block that you did not attach the other piece to, we're going to attach it to the front here. So just lay it down. Alright. And then make sure you keep your detailing scissors nearby you because you may use it. Because just in case you didn't cut your angles deep enough. Because I'd rather you cut it not too much than to cut too much of it off. So 
you can go ahead and remove like it all depends on you if you want to do one piece of score tape at a time that is all you boo you can go ahead and remove it all just like I am doing but it's all about personal preference and what you're going to do is you are going to start lining it up I'm gonna push these down a little bit you're going to start lining it up with with your little letter F so I'm gonna line up my bottom piece and then I'm gonna pull it forward and start lining it up here and you see how I have a little bit of overhang so I'm just gonna snip that and I'm gonna take this piece and I'm just following along and go over and then pull it towards me and then go over so then it looks like this and we are going to repeat everything that we did on this side so I'm going to first remove my little side piece here on my base and apply my F and then now I'm going to remove my score tape so I'm going to bend those here and then I'm just going to follow along with my guide here And there we go and now I'm going to remove the tape from this back piece this close this back piece will close up your box and I'm just going to do one side at a time I have a little bit of overlay here so I'm just going to snip that off So one side at a time, I'm gonna go ahead and line that up. And then push this in, make sure everything is lined up. And then these little notches up here at the top, they just tuck in. And there you have it. You have your little mini arcade. So the only difference with the bigger one, the bigger one will have two pieces. It'll have a separate bottom piece instead of just one long piece, how this small one is because it is a bigger measurement. But you would just attach the bottom piece to the back and then put everything together accordingly. So that is the arcade. You go ahead and dress her up. If you have any pieces that kind of stick out a little bit, you can go ahead and cut it up or add trim or something like that. But yeah, super cute. Um, I hope this was easy to follow. Um, I hope that you guys go ahead and give it a try. If you have questions, please feel free to reach out to me. It's better to hit me up over on my Instagram. But otherwise, guys, thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.